Hello to all viewers. What we're doing today is this is the Hewlett Packard HP 7960 PhotoSmart printer. It is fairly an older model, made approximately 2003 ish, but there are still quite a few people with this printer because if it's maintained, heads are clean, dusted clean, prints photos. Very excellent. Great photo quality. And as far as papers go, prints very well. You can set it to different options, fast mode, regular mode. Good thing about this printer is the newer printers, the ink cartridges are small, doesn't hold very much, but the cartridges on these printers are fairly pretty large. So they hold quite a minute, quite amount of ink. So it'll last you probably longer than these other printers will. But in either case, what we're gonna do is we are going to learn today how to print on the front of an envelope. I've been trying to figure this out for a while, even though envelopes are becoming a thing in the past, not many people are doing them very much. Everything's more done online, internet, but we still have to mail things out on occasion. And especially if you have company business, just starting up something and you have this old relic, it's definitely worth purchasing because the prices on these right now are still because they're older, but they print very well. So that's the good thing about them, as long as it works. So what we're going to do is the first step is to make sure we come here and we're going to open top of our tray. Hopefully yours still works to where your lid stays open. I prefer to leave this open because once you start printing, leaving this open doesn't affect the printing in any way. It won't start this. It won't stop it. It won't interfere with it. Only thing about this is once you start to print your envelope, make sure your lid is down. Because if it's up, that envelope's gonna come out of here and it's gonna come up and it might get jammed. So just leave it up until you actually start to print. Because you may wanna change the envelope around, you wanna load multiple once you get it down. So just leave it up. So here what we're gonna do. First, remove all your papers from your printer. Make sure that this photo tray is not engaged. That is engaged. Make sure this is disengaged, which is by sliding this all the way down. Once that's done, now we are gonna get an envelope. This is exactly how the envelope is getting fed in here. Open part of the envelope is facing up but part of the envelope is facing on the far right edge of the tray. The part that you want to print on is facing down. So you have these two slide rails here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our envelope against the far right interior of the tray as so. Oh, let's make sure that this envelope where you actually seal it is closed as much as possible. You don't want it open because it may get stuck and that's gonna cause problems when it exerts out of here. So make sure that this is closed as much as possible. Now that that's in there, it's set up against this slide rail. This slide rail first, we're gonna move over to the touch of the top of the envelope, just a little bit, just lightly. Don't force it. Just real light. Now, the other slide rail, we're gonna push this in slowly so you can feel it touch the back of the printer and that's where you wanna stop, right? When you feel it touch the back, where you can't force it in anymore. Now, now that that's set, this turns on automatically once you start printing anything. So you don't even have to turn the power on. So for right now, this is set up for our envelope now let's go to the monitor and do the settings on the monitor. Now that we're at the monitor here, open up your Word program, whichever one you use. I have WPS Office, but open up your Word program. Once that's open, we're gonna to go to a document, open up a new document, and open up a blank document. Once your document's open, some people are a little slower 
So I don't want to go too fast ahead of you. But once your document's open, you're going to go to your printer settings or your printer. Once you find your printer, open that up. Let's go to which printer we are using if you have multiple. But we're going to go to the HP 7960 and we're going to go over here to properties. Once you select your printer, don't worry about everything else on this page. Just go to properties. Once you read document properties, we're going to go to the section where it says features. Once you're on features, your basic options, your print quality, leave it at normal, paper type, automatic, paper source, automatically select. Portrait or landscape options, highlight portrait. Then we go down to resizing options. Now here, your size box, go to your drop down. Now we have numerous options. Hit more, not custom. Once you hit more, here are all the other options and you're gonna scroll down to envelope. It's the only section that's there for envelopes. Just choose that one envelope and hit OK. Once you hit that, your photo fix, leave it at basic. Two-sided printing should be off. Leave your paper sheet feed on just one because if you make multiple mistakes, if it gets jammed, you don't want to get a bunch of envelopes and they're getting messed up. So let's just do one at a time since you're just starting this for the first time. But what you can do, if you'd like, you can check this box, which will highlight your envelope before you even print it. Then we're gonna hit okay. Now we are done setting up the printer so we can X everything out of here. Now we are going to go back to your Pro Word program and go to your, you have various options to select, home, insert, page layout, set references, and so on. Go to your insert option. Now remember, I'm using the word uh, WPS office. So whatever your section is that has this, but on mine, go to insert. Once you go to insert, you go to find envelopes. If you can't find envelopes on whatever word program you have, go to Google. Find it, ask Google, and it'll tell you where to find it on your program. So anyhow, we go to envelopes. There's your box. Now we're going to type in a sample delivery address and a sample return address. Now, do not print it yet. You do not have to take this and center it or slide it over more because the format is pretty set on how it will come out on your envelope and it shows a slight preview here for this top section and a slight preview here for this bottom one. Now, your options are set here. So we click that box to show what our envelope is gonna look like first. So if you hit print, there's a sample page of your envelope. And that's how our format should come out right before we start printing. So now we are going to stop at this section and go to the printer and see how our envelope turns out.
Now, before we start printing, do not forget to take your lid, lower it back down. Then we will print our envelope and see what our turnout is. There's your envelope, looks pretty good. Formats very nice on your envelope. So this comes out really handy, it prints really fast and that's not even at fast setting. So if you have numerous envelopes, you can hit the drop down screen and I believe it goes up to 16 envelopes at a time to print. So going back to this, if you make mistakes, and you probably will, just starting this, you messed up your first envelope. Don't toss it to the side and get a brand new fresh envelope because now you're going to be wasting envelopes. I would suggest taking this same envelope, having the side that you printed on facing up. So now the envelope is almost backwards. So have your printing side, your facing part of your envelope facing up and the part where you put your letter in facing down. Pull this back out, the slide tray. Slide your envelope right back in there. So now you can go ahead and hit print again. It may come out and when it comes out, the printer, the printing will be on the back part of the envelope. But all you want to see is if it's formatted right and if it comes out right. Since you messed up that first one, it doesn't matter on the second in that same envelope. So just flip it over. If you make a mistake again, do the same thing until you get it right. And once it's right, now you can load your multiple envelopes in there and do them all the correct way. But that's essentially the basic part of how to do envelopes. Haven't seen any videos out there that kind of does this with this printer. So this really helps out a lot. And I hope it helps out anybody that's viewing this that has this printer. Good luck to you all. Take care. Stay COVID free and love your family.